Yes, let the registrar call the case. Good morning, Your Honours. Case number IT9830I, the prosecutor versus Mi <coughs> Miroslav Kvotska, Milojika Kos, Mladen Radic and Zoran Zicic. The appearance is pleasant. Good morning, Your Honours. My name is Neiman and I appear with my colleagues, uh, Mr. Keegan and Mr. Wideratni and Ms. Reindeer is, is the case manager for the prosecution, if Your Honours, please. Yes, for the defence, uh, in the order of the indictment. Um, Mr. President, my name is Kirsten Simic, defence counsel for Mr. Miroslav Kochka. My uh, co-counsel uh, is unable to attend today's hearing. Your Honours, my name is Jarko Nikolic, attorney representing Miloica Kos. To my left, my co-counsel, Ms. Jelena Nikolic. Good morning, Your Honours. I am attorney Tomo Fila. And together with co-counsel, uh, Mr. Petrovic, I represent the accused, Mlađo Radic. Your Honours, my name is Simo Tosic, uh, representing the accused, Zoran Zigic. To my right, my co-counsel, Jelena Lopicic, attorney from Belgrade. Well, Mr. Tosic, let me address you first. Uh, I see that your client is wearing dark glasses. Now, that is not normally allowed in a court. Is there a particular reason why he's wearing those glasses? Your Honours, the main reason is the medical condition of my client. Since uh, light uh, disturbs him, and he is uh, advised to wear glasses in such conditions. That is the only reason, no other. Osic, then if he wishes to apply to the court to wear dark glasses, and there is a medical reason for that, he must uh, make a formal application, or you on his behalf must make a formal application, and uh, it must be supported, if there's a medical reason, by a medical report. So before the next appearance, if you want, or if your client wants to wear dark glasses, then uh, he must formally apply. Is that understood? Yes, Your Honours. We will do as you have advised us for the next hearing. Now, let me turn next to the uh, accused uh, to make sure that they can hear what's being said in a language which they understand. Can you all hear? If there's, I, yes, Your Honour. If there's any difficulty during the proceedings or any proceedings before this trial chamber, if you have any difficulty hearing, Will you uh, indicate straight away? Now, if I could turn to uh, defense counsel, please. This uh, uh, appearance has been listed for the accused to enter pleas uh, to new charges on the amended indictment. And there are some preliminary matters which uh, I ne need to deal with first. Uh, and uh, to comply with the rules, uh, I must ask you first to confirm the following, that your client has received a copy of the indictment in a language which he understands, uh, that you've had the opportunity of going through it with him, that he understands it uh, and is in a position to enter a plea. And perhaps I can ask you in the indictment order to confirm those matters. Um, 
Mr. Sivich. Your Honours, my client and I have received the indictment. He understands the indictment and he is quite prepared to enter a plea today. Thank you. Mr. Nikolic. Your Honours, my answer to all your questions is in the affirmative. Your Honours, my answer is yes. Your answer, Your Honours, my answer is yes. Thank you. And the uh, next matter is this. Um, the rules do allow the accused the right to have the indictment read out uh, in court in full, uh, but they also may waive that right. Uh, and before we turn to the plea, uh, I must ask you this. Do any of your clients want the indictment read out in full, or uh, uh, will you waive the right? Perhaps someone could uh, give me an answer. Your Honours, our clients do not insist on the indictment being read, and we can proceed uh, with the, the pleas. <coughs> Let the uh, accused stand. I'm now going to read the counts to you. Will you uh, kindly confine your answers to each count, either guilty or not guilty to each? Count one. Messrs. Kovacka, Kos, and Radic. Crime against humanity, punishable under the Articles 5H, persecution on r political, racial, or religious grounds, and 7.1 and 7.3 of the Statute of the Tribunal. Mr. Kovacka, how do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Your Honours, I plead not guilty. I am absolutely not guilty. Yes. Not guilty. Mr. Your Honours, I am not guilty. Count one, a crime against humanity, punishable under Articles 5H, persecution on political, racial or religious grounds, and 7.1 of the statute, Mr. Gzigic, how do you plead, guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Count two, uh, a crime against humanity, Messrs. Kovacka, Kos and Radic, punishable under Articles 5.1, Inhumane Acts, and 7.1 and 7.3 of the statute. Mr. Kovacka, how do you plead? Your Honours, I am absolutely not guilty. Mr. Kloss? Your Honours, not guilty. Mr. Radic? Your Honours, not guilty. Zoran Zigic, Count 2, a Crime Against Humanity, punishable under Articles 5.1, Inhumane Acts, and 7.1 of the Statute. Mr. Zigic, how do you plead? Not guilty. Miroslav Kovacka, Moichka Kos, and Mladen Radic. On count three, a violation of the laws or customs of war, uh, outrages upon personal dignity as recognized by Article 3.1c of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, punishable under Articles 3 and 7.1 and 7.3 of the statute. Mr. Kovacka, how do you plead? Your Honours, I'm not guilty. 
false. Your Honor is not guilty. Mr. Radic. Your Honor is um, not guilty. On the same count, Zoran Zigic, uh, a similar offence, a violation of the laws or customs of war, uh, as I've already read out previously, punishable under Articles 3 and 7.1 of the statute. Mr. Zigic, how do you plead? Yes, I'm clear. Not guilty. Messrs. Kovacka, Kos, and Radic, count four, a crime against humanity, punishable under Articles 5A, murder, and 7.1 and 7.3 of the statute of the tribunal. Mr. Kovacka, how do you plead? Your Honours, I'm absolutely not guilty. Mr. Kos? Not guilty. Mr. Radic? Your Honours, I'm not guilty. Count five, a violation of the laws or customs of war, murder, as recognised by Article 3.1a of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, punishable under Articles 3.1, 7.1 and 7.3 of the statute. Mr. Kovacka, how do you plead? No, I'm not guilty. Not guilty. Your Honours, not guilty. Zoran Zigic, count six, a crime against humanity, punishable under Article 5A, murder, and 7-1 of the statute. Mr. Zigic, how do you plead? Not guilty. Count seven, a violation of the laws or customs of war, murder, is recognized by Article 3.1a of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, punishable under Articles 3 and 7.1 of the statute. Mr. Zigic, how do you plead? Not guilty. Miroslav Kovacka, Miroycha Kos and Radin Radic. Count eight. A crime against humanity, punishable under Articles 5F, torture, and 7.1 and 7.3 of the statute. Mr. Kovacka, how do you plead? Your Honours, I am not guilty. Mr. Kos. Your Honours, I am not guilty. Mr. Radic. Your Honours, I am not guilty. Count 10, a violation of the laws or customs of war, cruel treatment, as recognised by Article 3.1a of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, punishable under Articles 3, 7.1 and 7.3 of the statute. Mr. Kovacka, how do you plead? Your Honours, I am absolutely not guilty. Mr. Koss? Your Honours, I am not guilty. Mr. Radic? Your Honours, I am not guilty. Zoran Zigic, Count 11, a crime against humanity, punishable under Articles 5F, torture, and 7.1 of the statute. Mr. Zigic, how do you plead? Not guilty. Count 12, a violation of the laws or customs of war, torture, as recognised by Article 3.1a of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, punishable under Articles 3 and 7.1 of the statute. Mr. Zigic, how do you plead? Not guilty. Count 13, a violation of the laws or customs of war, cruel treatment, is recognised by Article 3.1a of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, punishable under Articles 3 and 7.1 of the statute. Mr. Zigic, how do you plead? Yes, Not guilty. Radin Radic, Act 14, a crime against humanity, punishable under Article 5F, torture, and 7.1 of the statute. 
Mr. Radic, how do you plead? Your Honours, I am not guilty. 15. A crime against humanity, punishable under Article 5G, Rape and 7.1 of the Statute. Mr. Radic, how do you plead? Your Honours, I am not guilty. Count 16, a violation of the laws or customs of war, torture, as recognised by Article 31A of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, punishable under Articles 3 and 7.1 of the statute. <coughs> Mr Radic, how do you plead? Your Honours, I am not guilty. Count 17, a violation of the laws or customs of war, outrages upon personal dignity as recognised by Article 31C of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, punishable under Articles 3 and 7.1 of the Statute of the Tribunal. Mr Radic, how do you plead? Your Honours, I am not guilty. Very well. Let the accused uh, remain seated. Mr Neiman, there are various outstanding matters in this case. Um, there are motions outstanding. There are um, the questions of a timetable. Yes, it may, in fact, be more convenient. It may be more convenient uh, to discuss those, or at least some of them, in a status conference which we propose to hold immediately after this appearance. I think that would be appropriate, Tom. Yes, there are a number of matters that we need to discuss. I think the, the only matter which the rules require us to uh, consider, the other matter is the question of uh, a date for trial. Uh, and it must be said that at the moment uh, this case is clearly not ready for trial. There are a number of outstanding motions that need to be dealt with. Right? Yes. Uh, and again, it may be more convenient to deal with all of those in a status conference. I think it might be, yes, Ron. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Mr. Filo. <coughs> Your Honour, I apologise in advance if I am mistaken, but it seems to me that uh, count number nine has not been entered in the record. Perhaps it is uh, due to omission on my part, but count nine was left out. There's eight and there's ten, but if I am mistaken, I apologise. I, cer I certainly intended that it should be put. If there's any doubt about it, it can be put again. I see the record is being checked. as it appears that it hasn't been read. I do apologise. I, I should have been paying more attention to it. But if it's been overlooked, uh, thank you, Mr. Feeler, for drawing it to our attention. Uh, if it's been overlooked, let it be put again. Um, count nine. Uh, Mr. Kovachka, Mr. Koss, and Mr. Radich, please stand. There's no need for Mr. Zigic to stand. There's no need for him to stand. It's the other three accused. Count nine charges a violation of the law uh, of the laws or customs of war, torture as recognised by Article 31A of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, punishable under Articles 3, 7, 1, and 7, 3 of the statute. Mr. Kovachka, how do you plead? 
Your Honours, I am not guilty. Your Honours, not guilty. And Mr. Radic. Your Honours, I am not guilty. Thank you. If you'd like to sit down. Are there any other matters which uh, Council may wish to raise uh, before we go into um, uh, a closed uh, status conference? As I say, it's what I propose is that in the status conference we discuss the timetable for this case, uh, including any outstanding motions which have to be resolved. But that apart, uh, are there any other matters which Council would like to raise? I will take care. Your Honours, I apologise again for asking for the floor a second time, but I think that we need to clarify a point from the beginning. I'm referring to, na to the name of Mr. Radic. His name is Mlađo Radic. In the indictment it says Mladen. I think it would be desirable for the prosecution to correct this uh, for purposes of identification. It is not a big issue, but after all, I think we have to have the name correctly, whether he is guilty or not guilty. Yes. It can be amended. Yes, Your Honour. We, we, our information was that that was a, a street name or nickname. Uh, that's how we understood it, and so that's why the indictment reads the way it does. But uh, Mr. Fila has informed us this morning that, in fact, Malajo is the name that he uses, and uh, so we would apply to amend uh, the indictment uh, in conformity with, uh, uh, with that. Yes, whether there's no objection, let the indictment be amended. Yes, that being all the matters which have to be discussed at this uh, appearance, uh, the Chamber will now move into a status conference, a closed session, to discuss the other matters relating to the case. Can we do that?